welcome back to another productive week in my life vlog. In this video, I'm going to take you guys along with me while I complete some assignments, strategize the way that I'm going to study for my finals, and overall just preparing for my final exams, which are coming in literally two weeks. I'm pretty nervous for them, but I'm just overall excited to finally graduate. I have two weeks left until my undergrad is finally over, and it's really surreal. Like, I don't think it's hitting me yet, to be honest getting myself a cold brew just to start the day off strong. I'm probably gonna need a lot more of these throughout the next few weeks. I have a seven page paper to write by 11.59. It is currently noon. I'm very nervous, but I think I'll be able to do a good job. So if you're anything like me and you have just so many thoughts, ideas, plans, tasks, it can get really overwhelming really fast. Lately I've been using Scrintle to map out all of my thoughts and plans and it has really helped me organize and manage lots of events in my life, especially since final exams are approaching. Scrintle is basically a digital notebook for visual thinkers, giving you the flexibility to manage and plan out lots of thoughts in a way that's visually appealing to you. I want to quickly walk you through my study board for my data mining final that's coming up soon. Pretty much I start off with a big title card for my exam that captures all the key details like the date, the time, the overview, you name it, and I start threading in my topics. Each major study topic has its own dedicated card which is linked to the actual exam. In here I put points of study and terms and models that I need to review for the exam. Since this is a data mining and machine learning class there are lots of intertwined concepts that kind of make standard note taking and review not really ideal. Scrintle helps you actually cross reference different cards making it a lot easier to find examples, coding exercises that relate to the module and all the things that I'm reviewing that might relate to one another. In the future I think it would be really cool if they actually implemented like a calendar feature that you can connect your cards to. I just think it would really help with managing things that are time oriented. I hope to maybe even see more color customization features in the future, especially for people like me that have to color code everything to really feel organized. I'm really excited to continue using Scrintle for planning and managing my productivity. If any of this sounds up your alley, Scrintle actually gave me a discount code to share with you guys to get 20% off of your subscription. You can use the code MyStyle20. You can find the details in the link in my description down below. Thank you so much Scrintle for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get on to studying. I'm sorry it's dark by the way. It's just the theme for my room I guess. Alright you guys, I just came home. We're still working on that paper. We have about four and a half hours to complete it. I'm over the page count already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my blue light glasses, crack open my Olipop, and get to writing. Update on my paper. It is officially eight pages long. The maximum is seven, but I finished all of my pieces. So I guess now what I have to do is just kind of shorten up the paper and just make sure that it still follows the structure of the guidelines that I was given. My brain is about to explode. It's currently 9 p.m. I pretty much shot myself in the foot by doing this last minute. So I mean, usually I do all of my assignments and studying and stuff like starting the weekend before they're all due. But this weekend, I was being productive in other ways. And one of those ways was not studying. All right, I'm gonna go finish this up. It should take me another 30 minutes and I think I'll be good to turn it in.
course, here I am at another cafe. I swear I'm 10 times more productive in a cafe setting. Right now, I'm studying for my data mining final. It's not for another three weeks, but it's definitely the scariest final that I have, so I'm trying to get as much of a head start as possible. So far, I have an A in the class, so I'm really just trying to keep it that way. I'm pretty comfortable when it comes to all of the theories and terms and definitions, but I'm not an expert coder by any means. I'm just trying to practice and get better, so I just do the best that I can. to school. Today we have a long day ahead of us. I'm on campus for 12 hours. First thing, I gravitated towards the mocha roll because obviously the. Then I got myself a mocha cappuccino for class later because I have an evening class tonight and I've been awake since 5.30, so I'm gonna need that. I also wanted to make like an avocado toast with some chili oil, so I got some for, I don't know, sometime this weekend or something. I got spicy tuna kimbap for lunch because I'm hungry and haven't eaten anything today. I enjoy my lunch. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out Scrintle. All the details are in my description box below and I will see you guys in the next video.